Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I am joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. So, yeah, we uh, a few minutes late tonight. Apologies on that, but uh, yeah, you know, it's it's okay, Christian. No worries. Thanks for waiting for me. Yep. I just realized... Our team. I just realized with the show, with the new format, now it's kind of a surprise for everyone what we're actually going to be doing. So it is uh, kind of uh, kind of exciting. So you'll have to tell us if you like that, or if you hate it, or if you're indifferent to it. I have a vague rule that I've made for myself. I'm going to try to follow that. I'm only going to talk about things that are still available to buy. It's going to be hard. Because there's there's some old crap I'd really like to talk about, but I guess mine is uh, just coming out now too, so it's still available to buy. So should I... yours is easy peas, yeah. Yeah, mine is yeah. also available for buy. There you go. All right, who wants to go first? I don't think I've gone first yet since we've been doing this. So go, I'm first. Gonna go first. Let's have you with... Youngest first age order. Yeah. Reverse age order. Look what I have. Oh, look at you. Ooh. It's the Flame Toys Rodimus kit from how he looks in More Than Meets the Eye or Lost Light. Really both. He's cool. I've had him for a couple months. I think I showed him on an ouch a couple months ago, and I was like, I'll let you guys know what happens once I build him. So there's me doing that. And he's cool. He's got a lot of color variety. He's got, you know, the bright yellow. He's got the kind of subtler orange he's got red he's got silver on his arm pipes he's got black for his tires and guns he's got a little blue piece in his eyeballs that i'm having trouble showing you because it only focuses so much but he's got some good stickers too he's got uh stickers to show shadows on his hips he's got stickers on his hips he's got uh, these dots on his thighs that kind of add just some detail mm-hmm he was a good build. It took me an hour and a half or so to build him, which is good. The sprue organization, which is something I always get on flame toys for, it was better for this kid. Probably oh, the good. best one so far. But he can do like toy things. He can do toy things. He can pose pretty tight joints. So I'm not worried about, bless you, worried about that. He can hold his guns up. He can hold both his guns up. Yeah. Good stuff. He came with some alternate hands, which I'm not showing you because I wanted his gun hands. But he's got like a pointing hand. He's got a fist. So he's he's all good. And they do multi-part hands, right? They do the ones for the fingers and the back of the yeah, hand are separate it's pieces. two-piece two hands, yeah. I wish they were one-piece hands. I really prefer one-piece hands. I do too, but it does help put the guns in in a way that is um, effective. Really secure. I mean, it makes yeah. it very secure because you usually kind of build them into it. Yes. It's like, you couldn't remove these guns from his hands without, you know, taking the hands apart. Which is good because, you know, I, I don't intend to remove Like, if you want to take, if you want to do that, just take the hands off and put a different set of hands on. Right. That's the easiest way to do it, yeah. I think it's three sets of hands. I think it's um, the gun holding hands, there's a pointing hand, there's a fist hand. You have him pointing with both fingers. You could. I don't know if he points with both fingers. I think it's like probably one not. Pointing they usually and don't. Kind of open, relaxed grip. I figured. And then the other one, this fist. But he's he's really well detailed. He does look like he walked out of the comic, and he looks you know, this, really good. Yeah. So like this was. I made the decision to go with this over the Calidus reissue from Mastermind Creations because I'd had that mold before. I didn't really like it. I have it as override, and I was like. I don't really want to pay a hundred bucks for that for it to just sit in robot mode and, and look like this. This one is closer to what he actually right. looks like and it's licensed and it was 40 bucks or so. And I'm much happier doing that. You know, it's, I guess it's always unfortunate when they don't transform, but model kit is a different experience for me. So to be able to combine that with my love of transformers is always good. I've got a couple of these flame kits, flame toys kits. Now I hope they keep doing more idw style like i've got megatron and drift to go with rodimus for my lost light crew i hope they do like 
everybody just do them just keep doing them can't wait for one blade so excited she's starting to come into stock now i know i really hope that i'm a big bad toy store owner so who knows sometimes I, they get stuff late i did not go in on wind blade i might later go in on wind blade and I know she's I'm an oddity she is odd because like like that fills a hole you know, like we've never yes, had something is... that really looks, other than Cloud Rodimus, that really looks right, but hardly the... anything like him. Yeah, Cloud Rodimus and is vaguely close. This is that Rodimus. Here that is. is that look. Right. And that the only other thing that's got it anywhere near close to that is SSX's Hot Flame. And Hot Flame is flimsy and crappy. Mm-hmm. So this is like model kit flimsy, right? Like you don't want to beat this on the ground. But it's also not going to fall apart uh, on you. Hot Flame feels like 80s bottle kit flimsy. Like, plastic doesn't feel good. It feels flimsy. Yeah. And it may as well be non-transforming because transforming it is so uncomfortable and unhappy. So that looks so much. It looks about as good, right? Like, when I look at that, I think, like, oh, it's a lot like Hot Flame downstairs. That the colors are a little more vibrant on yeah. yours because those are very vibrant colors. And I like that a lot. But I'd rather have, have that. that. I'd rather have this too. I did have one issue and it's probably me. It could be a slight molding variance, but like the backs of the arms kind of don't fit all together at Mm -hmm. the seam, which is like a normal model kit thing. And then there's a piece where the chest plate goes into the back plate above the uh, abs. And one, this side right here doesn't plug in quite all the way the the other side does it's all fine so it's all secure it's just you know it could be better but again i think that's slight variances in plastic i could probably shave it down and make it work or whatever yeah i mean i will say i will say that you know most of these model kits are are pretty spot on uh, especially the idw ones like the megatron one seems to look really good like this one looks really good. Um, I don't think I've seen the drift one, but uh, it looks great. Yeah, it, that one is a bad build. Like that's the only one of the build that I'll say was legitimately bad. Mm-hmm. But it ends up looking great. So you know, you, you you pay the price to get something that looks incredible. Yeah, that's the only thing for me is is that like I'm just not a fan of you know building model kits. Like I'd rather just have it and so that's why i you know have calidus from mmc plus like you know i have pretty much all the mmc uh you know you know lost light figures anyway so it's like well might as well just stick with that but like sure. I, I will definitely admit that that is not as accurate as uh the one that you have and i re- in the the colors look really good too yeah i so noticed that the calidus colors are kind of muted and the, the hot flame colors are, they're they're closer to vibrant, but they're not quite that vibrant. Like, hot flame is very good looking, and he looks really good with my other Lost Light toys. He's just not so fun to touch in your hands. And um, Randall mentioned that these flame to- toys kits are on par with modern Gunpla, and they definitely are. Like, I definitely mean to say that the... Um, the Flame Toys kits, like, once they're built, they feel just as good as some of the best action figure model kits out there. The build's a little worse. When I was the talking about the plastic quality being closer to 80s gun I was talking about Hot Flame. Hot Flame feels very thin. Yeah. Like, his plastic is awful thin. And and I agree with you on that, like, because I think that you had shown that. Uh, yeah, to me it just doesn't too, feel good. Like, it just doesn't feel like. And I've had uh, a couple of the other SSX figures as well like i'd say that the blur is a little bit better um but it's still just like all of their like figures just don't feel that premium um in general so yeah so i mean it sounds like if you want a lost light shelf you know that this might be the way uh to go now the other question is is with these kits did these fit in with like so say say if you had a hasbro lost light shelf does this fit in with a Hasbro Lost Light shelf, or do you think that they don't quite scale? Here he is with the new B Ratchet. Well, it seems like if you so now, move next to the, like the Ultra Magnus, though, like it might work. The, uh, that might be okay. That combiner. Here he is one. with with Red Knockout. 
anyone bigger than him might be okay. The characters that are supposed to be smaller than him probably wouldn't look as good. I bet you could put him with the Thrilling 30 uh, Swerve, and he would look fine. Or the Titans Return Rewind. I think that would look fine, too. I, I, I was thinking th- things are supposed to be uh, his size, actually, like skids. Like, I was just looking over at my skids and thinking, oh, he'd be bigger than him. Yeah, skids would be rough. Uh, yeah, he's he's taller than a deluxe, but he's smaller than a Voyager, so you could make it work depending on who you had. I, I feel like, as Phil said, it's like uh, probably all of our Lost Light shelves are a scale nightmare, so, which is... Yeah, they have to be. Trip. But at the same time, like, I feel like Lost Light, like, I don't know, they kind of drew them in slightly different scales anyway, just depending on the time period, so it's like... Well, the three Lost Lighters that I have in Flame Toy style, I have Megatron, Rodimus, and Drift. They look great together, and uh, that's kind of all I needed from them. Yep. I do hope they do some more. You know, they did the IDW Optimus. I don't have that one, do I? No. I have the IDW style Magnus, which is the re- the repaint, not like Lost Light Magnus. That would be cool. But, yeah. uh, you know, they're, they're all basically the same size. Megatron could be a bit bigger, but they look good and appropriate together so I, I hope they keep doing these and for 40 bucks or 50 bucks it's worth it gotcha i like them too Kapow. there you go well my figure or oh wait are we going in reverse age we said reverse age order but it's okay if you really want to go since yours is the same character i was gonna say mine is related so I there's continuity I've got this uh, core class hot rod, and uh, I, I'm not honestly sure why I'm even picking up all these core class figures because, like, what's what's the point? Um, but uh, but yeah, so I I think I've gotten all of them so far. Um, so I think he looks like he has some personality to him, uh, but of course he has some issues, like. The back of his head is, you know, I guess you can't really necessarily tell that well, but, it, you know, the back of his head has a little gap in it. Um, is, if you is hold him up and you hold steady, your camera focuses. So if you hold him up in front of you for like 10 seconds, people will get a good look at him. So, yeah, you know, he's big got, he's got a little bit of hollow, like the legs have a little bit of hollow. Um I will say, though, he looks pretty good, you know? Like, again, he looks like he has some personality to him. I do like the little sword that he came with. I don't know why he has a sword, but, you know, whatever. Um, uh-oh, Christian left. He made a face that told me that something is happening in his area. Uh-oh. That he needs to check out. So, uh, um, you know, he uh, is core class uh, as far as, like, the articulation. Um, the shoulders, I feel like, are a little bit weird. Like, you can't really move the shoulders out that far. If you want to move them up, you kind of have to do the transformation. So you can. So what you can do is kind of, like, you know, use the transformation joint to kind of get some more articulation with the arms. Um, he has no ankles whatsoever, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, only Soundwave and Rat Trap have had ankles, right? Did Soundwave have ankles? I think Does Rat Trap have ankles? He, I, just I, a little I, bit. I added like, ankles there's a, for Rat There's a little bit of like play with the ball joint. Oh, um, yeah, I forgot about that. Ball joint of feet. I guess that counts very beast wars era anyway so um so the one thing i do like about this figure is is like the transformation like we've gotten several hot rods and rodimuses lately uh or like at least over the last several years and this transformation is different than um all the other ones which i kind of appreciate um so like when you do it, it kind of does the, I don't know, Combiner Wars 
I guess you would call it with the like the, the leg yeah. transformation and then the um, like the top of the hood kind of like goes over like that. Um, I don't know. It's just a little bit different than uh, some of the other ones. But at the same time, I will say that this is probably one of the weaker core class figures. Um, I definitely think that um, Optimus Prime, like Soundwave, I feel like is like the star of the core class. And Optimus Prime's pretty good. Like uh, the rest of the figures are, are, you know, pretty good. This one is not great, but he doesn't look that bad. Um, I would say. He's probably an upgrade over what is it, Titans Return, Legends Hot uh, Rod, Combiner Wars one for Combiner Wars. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't remember which one it was, which era. So I'd say maybe it's an upgrade over that, but I would say that unless you have to get all of the core class figures, I probably would skip this one. I feel like it would make cool zoom out shots with like your Titans and Unicron. Like it'll look yeah. neater. That it would with your big figures that are obviously, you know, making the Titans seem small. Like, you really need, you know, figures that are, like, Lego minifig size to really be in scale. But those don't really exist. There is someone making third-party 3D printed ones, but they don't transform. So this is about as close as you get, is you get, you know, these guys or Legends. And these guys are a lot cheaper than Legends. So Randall That's was true. saying on the chat too that there's so much paint on him. And I agree with that. Like the chest has, you know, the face is painted, the eyes are painted, the ch chest, the back of the, you know, the top of the car, like, you know, this is all paint. The spoiler is 100% paint. Um, so it, de you know, definitely has a lot of paint. I actually think it looks like, you know, again, it looks like it has some like good personality. Um, uh, but, oh, and, and as Ron says, you can't complete the legacy core sword without, you know, the, the sword that comes with them. So there you go. That sword looks so dorky. <laughs> it's like a build a figure though. It's a build a weapon. I guess. And I agree. That thing does have a lot of paint on it. I would wager that that thing has more paint on it than the deluxe Cyberverse hot rod did. Hmm. I had that briefly. I had to paint it. That statement. It bothered me so much that it was just like a plain red figure. Now it looks good, yeah. but it took time, effort, paint. And yeah, so, that yeah. one looks like it has probably the right amount of paint on it. Yeah, so I <laughs> mean, I would nice. say that like this is, it's like a fine figure. Like it's not bad necessarily, but it's not great. Like it's not something where I'm like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Whereas I felt like the sound wave when I was messing with him, I was like, this is really neat, you know, especially for 12 bucks or 10 bucks, whatever it is. He really reminds me of the Dr. Wu one mm -hmm. and the Dr. Wu one is, you know, super impressive. So it's just a little bit bigger, right. same kind of level of everything. It's really cool. The sound wave. Yeah. Hot rod's fine. So, but yeah. I, I definitely feel like, Anna, that uh, I would not be, like, telling you to run out and get this, and this can be a replacement for whatever random Legends knockoff that you have. I have a Legends not knockoff for Hot Rod. I have the MFC one. Oh, okay. I just assumed whatever you had was a knockoff. But, uh, Thanks. Just by a knockoff I appreciate company. that. I, I appreciate your, your doubts. So, there you go. Well, is it my turn? Sure. I'm excited to show something weird. So, we don't usually talk about perfect effect figures from 2013 on the show because that's been a while, but didn't this you just sure does. Rule? Didn't you just announce your rule? I did. Okay. What rule? What Check was it. your rule? That you are only talking about things that oh, are for buy. I am. I am. I am following that rule. Don't worry, because you'll notice that this very much says Perfect Effect on it. It is definitely the comic that came with Perfect Effect 
Aranea, the black arachnia bike creature. But um, this is definitely not that. This is a just released knockoff of it, I suppose. Oh. Copy is what Shozi's calling it. So it is, it's her. Like, if you've ever seen pictures of this toy or got to play with it, this is exactly what it is. Perfect Effects Aranea figure is a remold of their RC <clears throat> that turns into a bike. And she turns into a bike. Like, it's not exactly the world's most convincing motorcycle that I've ever seen. But it's fine for, like, Cybertronian looking. You'll notice she has excellent colors. Like, I just love the colors and paint. I forgot how animated she was. She she is all animated colors. She took animated's yeah. color scheme and put it on a body that looks like it comes out of Prime. So it's fun. an interesting thing. Um, I've wanted this forever. By the time I really got into heavy third-party collecting in like 2016, 2017, this thing was already four years old. And it was already crazy high in the aftermarket. Like, even now, the Perfect Effect version still sells for 300 ish um, on eBay. So it's not something that's really attainable most of the time. So when Shows you listed a weird, for some reason, we're knocking off a, you know, almost 10-year-old toy for the retail price of the original figure, I thought, why not? I'll go for it. So she's pretty cool. She comes with her little knives and the gun that I've turned into a shoulder cannon because I really like Mega Man and I homage characters from Mega Man a lot in my toys. Um, she has a weird pistol they need that I stuck on her butt because I couldn't find anywhere to put it. I don't really like the little pistol, but whatever. It fits in the bike mode. And then probably the funnest part about her is that the rest of her accessories come off to make a little spider drone. If I can find a good way to hold it there. So there is Spider Drone. So I mean, I, I'm just shocked that you're showing off a a knockoff of you know some weird obscure third party you know figure. I know, so strange. Happens, yeah. I would never do such a thing. And you know what? I would have, like, if I could have got this thing for retail price, the original version, I would have bought it, like, by now. Right. Because it is it is a very me figure. You know, it's, it's right. creative. It's interesting. It's a play on Transformers characters, but it's actually a completely new thing. Because, you know, it's a bike that combines with a spider drone to form a more full bike. Like you put the legs on the front of the bike and this middle part becomes the bike seat. And this part goes on the bottom of the bike to kind of flush out the bottom. So it all clips onto her bike mode to make it a more full motorcycle. And it looks a lot better once it's wearing the spider. She can also so, wear the spider. So it sounds like this is a very like, you know, mid you know, 2010s third party figure, like those parts forming, like they, they all love to kind of do that back in the day, I feel like. Yeah, it's very parts forming. It, it is, it's a very, a very 2013 figure. Like it mm -hmm. doesn't feel like a modern figure, but it feels nice. You know, like right. it doesn't feel excessively fragile, even though it's small. Um, it has good posability. You know, it's got the, the ankles that we all love where it's just like her toesies move around mm. on a ball joint. But, you know, it, it allows her. It's not even a ball joint. It's a peg, two pegs. Um, it allows her a good amount of standing posability and her arms have, you know, all the joints you would want, including wrist articulation. So, you know, she's quite posable. Um, her head's a little odd would be the only problem with her. And I don't know if she picked up a few weird issues from being knocked off or if she always had weird issues, right? Like the, the head compartment doesn't quite peg in. So it's kind of loose. Um, her head kind of sits a little bit back, but I, that's just how she's signed. And then like the, um, the seat doesn't actually peg in in bike mode. I think it's supposed to, but I couldn't get it to. So that was kind of annoying, but it, it all held together for a couple pictures and then I put her back in robot mode. 
So I don't know if that was a problem with the original figure or not, but like the quality on it feels great. Like it feels nice and strong and heavy. Like it's made of good plastic and nothing feels like it's just going to bend or break when I play with it. So it's pretty cool. It looks really neat. Um, yeah, it has a great the look. The spider drum is cool too. I like the drum. The colors, the colors are fantastic on it. The so red. This, like if I were to go get this at Show Z, there it's about eighty dollars. Eighty. Okay. So it's um, you know, it's like back in the day when we were paying you know eighty dollars to a hundred dollars for something that was essentially going to go on your chug shelf. Right, like this doesn't quite feel like it should go on my MP shelf. It doesn't quite feel like it should go on my chug shelf either. This one really feels like it'll look good on my prime shelf, which is weird because, you know, it's not Arachnid, but whatever. She looks a lot like the prime characters do and a lot of the stylizing. So it works out pretty well um, in that way. So, yeah, it's a neat thing. I would say that, you know, as long as you know that third-party figures weren't as good in 2013 as they are now and that perfect effects figures were all kind of quirky, um, I think it's a good thing to get. Because, like, it does not like being in bike mode. Like, getting those spider parts on it just right, it is not a fan of that. Once you do, it makes some cool pictures, and it's a very unique, like, tough-looking bike. But getting it there was a pain in the ass. Not a particularly long pain in the ass, but it was still hard to get together. Mm. But anyway, it's pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. I think it's a good piece for my collection, the way I like to have you know, very unique things that you can't get anywhere else. It's kind of like a weird interplay between Black Arachnia and Arachnid. So... You know, it's got the vehicle mode and the spider, but it also looks more like animated black arachnia in colors. So it's just a fun, fun, oddball thing. One issue that I really did not like about it, though, is most of the time these days when you get third party figures, even knockoffs, you don't get an overwhelming weird smell when you open them. Back in the day, knockoffs all smelled really bad. And this smelled terrible when I opened the package like I had to go find the book because it, it smelled the strongest so I just threw it across the room it smells fine now it's been like a week and a half since I got it so it's no longer um aromatically threaded but oh my goodness it smelled so bad I threw the box away like I never throw away boxes that fast but I got rid of it that day it's just dark <laughs> it was so weird So it would be my only complaint. It's a little stinky, but it aired out, and now it smells like every other toy. You don't really get much of a smell from it. If yeah, you were here, smell. Christian, you would know I'm not just being quirky. Like, when no, I no, opened it, there was I, an overwhelming bad smell. I remember those smells. It was gross. I can imagine. bad. But I'm happy oh, yeah. with it. You know, it's a All little right. expensive, but to me it was worth it. So if you want an expensive, stinky knockoff. <laughs> it will lose its stinky. It will lose its stinky. And there's not an option to buy this anymore from Perfect Effect. Right. I don't right. think Perfect Effect hasn't made a toy under that I, name in years, right? I think the Perfect Effect like sold all of their like designs that they're to uh, knockoff companies. Because I know, uh, I think it was MechFans Toys. Didn't they do a bunch of upscales of some of their uh like the reflector like the uh, camera yeah uh, yeah like they did they did that one and that one was pretty good quality i think um, the last thing perfect effect did was that deluxe size optimus they revamped that and made it kind of movie-ish yeah. yeah remember the one that was supposed to combine with the titan's return power master mold yeah they revamped that and gave it some other pieces to be movie-ish that was weird yeah it I, their stuff was neat. It had a, it had its time. You know, it definitely had its time. Like, if you've ever got to play with those old cassettes they made, those are, you know, from the same era as this. They're weird, but they're neat. They have their own little quirkiness to them. Also, this thing's a monster. Also a perfect effect. And that's a fancy perfect effect figure. It is. 
I guess this is fancy too, honestly. Think, haven't they re uh, recently released uh, uh, upgrade kits for Combiner War stuff? I mean, if you want to call five years ago, six years ago, recent. Who did I yeah, they've only been dormant kit? for like two or three years. Who did I get the kit from for uh, Grimlock? I swear that's perfect effect. Or the Volcanicus or whatever. DNA did one. Maybe it's it's probably DNA. I, have to, I have to look to see because I can't remember which one. I think that's the I last thing Perfect Effect did. And that was, you know, four toy lines ago now. Yeah. I, I'll i have to look because I know um, somebody re-released it recently. And, like, I picked it up from Chosen Prime because I didn't have it. So maybe it was DNA. I, I can't remember, honestly. Wow. So. That's a fancy axe. Yeah, axe maybe also it was turns into a tiny gorilla. I, I don't know. That's true. They, they yeah. kind of took over Perfect Effect's spot for Power of the Primes. They did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Power, they, they still released stuff. Like, remember. they did a thing that was vaguely Elite theme. They did a thing that was vaguely Starscream theme, but it was kind of like phoning in at that point. But, like, like, compared to. I was just say, compared to other companies, I feel like they put some love into their accessories. Like, mm -hmm. these knives are fully colored and painted. The whole spider has just as much coloration as she has. Like, its legs actually have a faded red at the bottom. There's a little gradient effect into the gold. The face of it is fully painted and detailed. Her gun actually, you know, uses probably four different colors in a gun accessory. And, you know, like... Almost everything down to our, like, MP-ish figures, the accessories have maybe one color of paint on it, if you're lucky. Right. And I feel like that's just really, like, these accessories all look really good. I don't want to put them in a bag. I want to make sure they're with her, because it looks nice. But yeah, I'm just saying the prices of it. Perfect effect hasn't tried to re-release more of their um like hands and feet upgrade kits for combiner wars because i feel like they had to have made a killing on those yeah even yeah, the uh, knockoff knock sets off, of those no. but even the knockoff sets now sell for more than they're worth really because you used to be able to get those things for 20 bucks a set but then they got rare so people started selling them for more <laughs> Because nobody wants to get rid of them, right? Once you get them and you put them on your combiners, you're like, oh, God, this looked like shit before I got these. I didn't realize right. how bad it looked. A hundred percent, yep. Yeah, definitely. So, so. I'm never getting rid of mine. Yep. So, anyway. Yeah. All right. Fun variety well, tonight, guys. Model yeah. kit, core figure, obscure old toy. I like it. Two, two hot rods and a bike girl. Yeah, two hot rods and a not anybody really, but kind of lacquer acne, sort of. Sort of. What was this thing called, Anna? Because I'm going to have trouble like when I do the description. Perfect um, effect, Arania. Okay. Yeah. The knockoff of it, though. Yes, it's. They list it as magic power on Show Z. The box on this thing is funny because it's just like a plain bluish purple box with photos of the toy on it. That's funny. So it's like in the box, it doesn't try to impersonate or not be a knockoff. But then as soon as you take it out, they just left the perfect effect label on everything. <laughs> That's funny. Ugh. There you go. Good times. So. All right. Well, um, you know, thanks for joining us, everyone, tonight. Um, thanks uh, to everyone in the chat, to uh, Catherine and Randall and Ron and Phil. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, I, I don't think that there's going to be a cut the tape this week because um, Rick has not sent anything to me, but I know he probably got back late from TFCon, so I'm sure he will probably get something up next week. Um and yeah, I guess um oh book club, uh are you guys doing revolution three and four? I think? Revolutionaries three and four, yep. So join that that Sunday night at nine thirty Eastern, eight thirty Central on the TF Talk Discord. And I guess that's it. So all right. 
Well, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye.